the Pale Flame set is the best in slot for almost every physical DPS character, but in my opinion, it's still not worth farming for, and here is why. Starting off with the most basic, and that is currently every single physical character run either the 2 Blessing to Gladiator or the 4 piece set Gladiator, more or less at least. In the first case, using 2 Blessing 2 Gladiator gives you a total of 25% physical damage increase and 18% attack. In the case of 4 Gladiator, it gives you 18% attack increase as well as 35% damage to your normal attack. However, the Player Fame set, when fully stacked, it, will give you a 18% attack increase but as well as a 50% damage increase on your physical damage. So you can see that it outclassed both of the other two options and it's just the best in slot for every single character that can use it at least. Keyword can use it. The thing with Pale Flame is that there is a stacking mechanic that requires you to upkeep the stacks at least once every 7 seconds. And without the stack, that is no better than the other option. With just one stack, this only gives you 25% physical damage as well as 9% attack percent increase. And this is just no better than 2 piece blessing 2 side gladiator, and so there's never a point to use this unless you can stack this. But before we talk about who can stack this and who cannot stack this, I actually want to talk about how this is actually not a significant damage increase compared to existing set. Again, compared to 2 blessing 2 gladiator, this simply have 25% extra physical damage on it. And 25 extra physical damage, while it is a damage increase, it is actually not a lot because of what we like to call diminishing return. With just the goblet, which is 58%, and the 2 piece set, which is 25%, you already have a fair amount of physical damage percent already. And that's not even including the fact that if you're using a weapon with physical percent substat, for example the Crescent Pike, or perhaps the new Greysword as soon as it's released for Erla. And it's not just substat, this also include damage percent effect which mostly affect weapon like Serpent Spine which have a damage increasing effect. This will also be categorized in the same category. As it turns out, you're basically looking at a 5 to maybe at most 13% damage increase, which is actually a good amount. But if you're watching my previous video, you probably know where this is going. To obtain the new artifact, of course you have to spend resin on the new domain, and so you have to think about it yourself. Is it worth my resin to push for a 5 to 10% damage increase? But this is even more true compared to the Tenacity set or the Tom set. And the reason is because Gladiator pieces come for free when you do bosses, so you potentially already have a lot of Gladiator pieces sitting in your inventory. And similarly, Bloodstained pieces more or less also come for free, and that is because they are a consolation price when you farm the Noblest Domain. So you might already have perfectly fine or really good Bloodstained pieces or Gladiator pieces in your inventory. And similar to the other video, going through the new domain means you have to spend resins and go through RNG to find good main start and good sub start. I've been farming this domain and have nothing to show for it. And this is especially important because for DPS character, you really care about sub start. I have a perfectly fine gladiator with crit damage and crit rate. I have a perfectly fine gladiator sense with attack percent and a lot of crit damage. And keep in mind that farming the new artifact is only a damage increase if you can get equivalent or better substat. And that is on all four pieces of your Pale Flame. And I'm gonna repeat that once again. You have to get equivalent or better substat on all four pieces of your Pale Flame to beat Gladiator and Bloodstain by 5 to 10% damage. And so here I once again ask you. Is it worth your resin? Which of course that you should determine yourself. You know, if you are a physical damage main or you're a whale and you just resin refresh every day, it could be worth you want to push for 10% extra damage because you really want your Zhongli to do 10% extra damage. Now this also applies similarly to the 2 piece pale flame set and the 2 piece blood stain set which give you 50% physical damage in total. As it turned out, it is also better than all the other options like 2 blood stain, Gladiator or 4 piece Gladiator, however by a very very small amount. But there is actually an argument about farming the 2 plus 2 set. 
Reapers 2 set is easier to farm for, especially if you already have pre-existing Bloodstained set from the Constellation price of the Noblest Dungeon. But more importantly for character like Razors, who does not use Crescent Pike and therefore prefer 4-piece Gladiator over the 2 plus 2 set. 4-piece Gladiator is actually not the easiest to farm either, especially since it's very RNG on world bosses. And in comparison, 2 Bloodstained 2 Pale Flame is much easier to farm than 4-piece Gladiator. With that being said, let's talk about the stacking part. Who can stack and who cannot stack? Razor can keep the stack up 100% very easily, no question here. Razor have a 5 second elemental skill cooldown which make it impossible to stack, however the whole version have a cooldown of 8, which means you will lose stack if you do end up using the whole version for energy regen. It is possible to keep the stack up on Shangling because Goba hit 4 times, however it has a 12 second cooldown and with Goba's intelligent level, it's kinda hard to keep the stack up so it's not recommended on Shangling to use the 4 piece. Aya's elemental skill have a 6 second cooldown, meaning that it is possible to keep the stack up, but you have to be perfectly on point with the cooldown. Similarly, Rosaria also have a 6 second cooldown on her elemental skill, so it is possible to keep the stack up, however do you know that even though it hit twice, it does not give you 2 stack, so you still have to be perfectly on point with the cooldown to maintain the stacks. Hell Flame only requiring you to proc it once every 7 second, meaning it's a lot easier to maintain in comparison to the 4 piece Tendency or Tom set. Although I'm not really a fan of Zhongli's pillar and consistency as I've mentioned in the other video, and so personally I don't recommend this, however I think it is workable. Jingyang level 3 shield will pause every 2 seconds, making it very easy to upkeep the stacks. Now, even though your shield requires you to hit 2 opponents, your elemental burst only have a cooldown of 15 seconds, while your shield will last for 12 seconds, meaning that it is possible to perfectly upkeep the stack using only your elemental burst. Ember's Bear Bunny have a cooldown of 14 seconds. On top of that, Bear Bunny have a lower IQ than Goba, making it almost impossible to keep up the stacks on Ember. Herching's elemental skill will hit twice, one on the seal cast and one when you pop it, making it very very easy to upkeep the stack on a physical Herching. Kishi can keep up the stack perfectly with her elemental skill, however her elemental skill have a 50% downtime unless you're using Sacrificial Sword, but then you'll be running Sacrificial Sword DPS physical Chi Chi, which uh, kinda questionable. Now, I know exactly what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, oh, I say Tom's not worth farming for, and now I say Pale Flame's not worth farming for. You know, like, wouldn't I just say that about every future artifact? Because you would just use the same artifact that you have with the good subset on it. And that's actually not true. You have to remember that set bonuses are also stats similar to substat. It just turned out that this time around, they're not amazing. Let me give you an example. Remember when Dragon Spine first came out and we got two new artifact set, the Crow artifact set, and the Hydra artifact set. Now these artifacts are definitely worth farming for because they give amazing set bonus that we did not have before. For example, for Kaya, you can use the Cryo set really really well. And when before the uh, Hydra set come out, Chao have almost no artifact that he can really use. So when the Hydra artifact finally came out, of course this is a really really good piece to use on your Chao. And similarly, what I said in the Tendency Reveal video is the 2 piece is very worth using because it gives you HP stat, and this is a set bonus that we did not have before. However, the 4 piece set is literally the same as Noblis except the shield strength part and a different trigger condition. And this is especially true for Pale Flame set. To put it in short, the 4 piece Pale Flame set is just a better 2 Gladiator 2 Bloodstain on a condition. However, it's not even better by that much. And it's only better if you can roll the equivalent or better substat on all four of your Pale Flame pieces in comparison to potentially your existing Bloodstain or Gladiator pieces, which you will have from farming world bosses as well as the Noblest Domain. To me, it just seems like this is going to be a lot of investment for potentially little to no return. And it's only worth if you're prepared to dump a lot of investment, potentially through resin refreshing every single day, or maybe you really really care about that little return for your favorite character. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'm sorry it took me a long time to get this one out since I know a lot of you are asking about it. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as a final reminder, don't forget to follow me on Twitch since I occasionally stream there now. 
and see you guys next time.